Hi, I'm Bob Masalgo. Welcome to this in-studio session. We're at In Your Ear Studios in Richmond. And before we go into the session, I've got to say something special. This is VIP Member Appreciation Week at WNRN. So we're so pleased to have a live studio audience here for this session of VIP members. Thanks so much for coming. Let them know you're here. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. I think that today's session really brings together a lot of things that make WNRN special. It brings together our VIP members. It brings together our love of Commonwealth music with a band out of Harrisonburg called Dogwood Tales. They've got two albums out. They've been around since 2016. Most recent album is called Closest Thing to Heaven on Warhen Records. And in fact, Warhen Records and WNRN presents Dogwood Tales tomorrow evening at the Southern Cafe and Music Hall in Charlottesville. Without further ado, let me just turn it over to Dogwood Tales. Thanks so much, Bob. Appreciate it. You, you crushed that at the beginning for us. Yeah, you covered all the bases for me. Yeah. Yeah, we're Dogwood Tales. Um, we're going to get started with the new song. It's called Hold You Again. Dogwood Tales in studio at Inner Studios on WNRN. Thanks so much for that song. You heard from Kyle, uh, one of the two founders of the band, Kyle Graham. He and uh, Ben Ryan got the band started in 2016. How did you guys get together in the first place? Well, um, Kyle and I grew up together, kind of. Uh, we started playing the music when I was probably, uh, You're 14. I was 14, he was 16, so back in uh, Winchester area. and. 11 we, years ago now. Yeah, it's been a while. So like we kind of just met each other through a mutual friend, uh, another music friend. That's around the time I started playing music. 
and we just gelled and started like writing music ever since. So it's, it's been a while. And we picked up these guys like about <laughs> around six, 2016, like Jake and Danny and then we, Steven, just like old friend, like best friends, you know? We, we lived right. together in we grew the band, spaces, you know? yeah. I know you called them these guys, but let's go ahead and introduce them. Yeah, of course. What yeah. What's, what are their names? <laughs> <laughs> On the drums is uh, Jake Gullibart. Um, I like to introduce him as one of my best friends. Uh, Jake is, uh, he does a, a lot of stuff, a lot of different kinds of music. He plays drums, synthesizers, all sorts of things. On the bass is uh, Danny Gibney. Uh, Danny mixes and uh, masters our music. He engineers a lot of our music, a lot of recordings and stuff. And he works with like tons of bands in Harrisonburg as well. And um, he's an amazing engineer. And to my right is Steven Kuster on the Fell Steel guitar. Um, I don't really have anything to say about Steven, nothing good at the very least, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. Steven's the best. He's one of our best friends. And yeah, we, uh, I went to James Madison University in Harrisonburg and uh, I met Jake on my freshman dorm hall and we just started hanging out, playing music together and we started a band. And then uh, we met Danny walking out of the local record store one day. He was wheeling out a humongous amplifier and, and then Steven came to a show in Richmond and said, I want to be in the band. And we we're like, let's do it. <laughs> So I'm just curious, 11 years ago, 14 and 16, yeah. what were you guys playing with one another? What were you like trying to yeah. do? <laughs> do we have to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I was in a band. Uh, I really wanted to be in a band, and I played no instruments, and but I wanted to be in a band. <laughs> and um, Classic. And uh, my friend, Mike Frazier, he is a good friend of ours. He plays all over the place as well. He uh, had We started a band together. It was like a very much like a Blink-182 cover band feeling. Yeah, and um, it was a lot of fun, though. Then Ben joined the band. And Ben got kicked out shortly afterwards I wanted to for be being annoying. <laughs> he was two years younger than us. And then uh, I had an ultimatum that I was out if Ben was out. And then Ben, so Ben got kicked out and I quit as well. So we started doing our own thing when I was like 17 and Ben was 15. And it gradually turned into Dogwood Tales, which we started touring as in like 2016. I see. Ben, yeah. how old did you have to be before you were not annoying enough to be uh, So I stopped out? being annoying when I turned, I think. 15. Oh, there you go. Great. So I, I just had a year of it. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> just one year of being annoying. Are you I guys? Think I, I think I'm still annoying. <laughs> Especially Kyle. I gave Ben a sip of my latte and the first, he went, I do not want, like, get this away. It's a delicious latte. I don't know why. He just has to be annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. It was not good. <laughs> Uh, you guys just played a song for us that you just released earlier this year, and you've put out another one this year. What's uh, do you want to maybe look at that, take a try at that one now? Oh yeah, for sure we can do that. Um, actually, would you mind if we do that? Our guitars are set up for a, another another song, and then we're gonna do that one last. Yeah, that's, that's great. Idea. Cool. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, what what else are you guys working on now? Yeah, for sure. Well, this one we're about to play. Uh, it's a brand new song. It's called No Use, and um, we've been releasing a bunch of music. Uh, this we've released two songs so far this year. We have an EP. Danny mixed this new, one, the new one, 25, that just came out, and um, we have an EP coming out next month. We're gonna be putting out a, another EP in the fall. Um, just a ton of stuff we recorded over COVID that we were never able to get out. Just even last year, getting back in the swing of things. As everyone knows, we kept getting spikes, kept wanting to play, but you know, had to do the responsible thing and not play, waiting, waiting for boosters and things like that. And um, now that things, I mean, I know nothing is over or anything like that, but. Um, now that we've been able to tour a little bit more and protocols have been better and less cases, I guess, we uh, were able to start releasing some stuff and getting some things rolling. But in spite of, and within all of that, we've, we've been working on a lot of new music. And um, we have a lot of new songs we've been playing live, which we'll be playing tomorrow night as well. Um, this is one that we've been touring on a little bit, uh, one of the newer ones after the whole COVID sessions we did and um, been pretty excited for, and it's uh, called No Use. This is No Use.
It's the truth, it's the truth Out of place, out of time Catch my tears, read my mind Drink it up till it's gone Fill your cup like it's wine That's Dogwood Tales in studio on WNRN. Let me mention again that they're playing tomorrow night at the Southern Cafe and Music Hall in Charlottesville. That's a WNRN. And Warhen Records presents a show starting at 8 o'clock. There are two other acts playing tomorrow evening as well. As well. Uh, Maddie May and the Shadowcast and Ramona and the Holy Smokes and then Dogwood Tales. That should be a great show. Thanks so much for that new song. Of course. Oh, fun. Yeah, I'm curious for you, for you two guys. Um, how how do you how do you go about writing songs? Do you always work together, or do you bring ideas to one another? How does that go? We do a lot of uh, kind of. Kyle brings an idea to the table and comes over, and he's like, we just kind of hash it out. And then, you know, furthermore, we hash it out all together in practice. So it's pretty hands on. I mean, he he comes comes up with a lot a lot more ideas than I do, but. <laughs> <laughs> Just as far as uh, quantifying things, I come up with way more than it. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. I, I literally <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I think it's become way more of a team effort than in the past for sure. And um, I mean, I think a lot of the lyrics, song, like I like verse ideas, chorus ideas, I think they'll always start usually with one kind of flow with one person or something, but it always grows into something uh, different whenever we all get together and everyone starts figuring out their own parts and things. So. It's been a pretty communal effort as of lately, and um, which has been great. And there's a lot of new things we've been feeling and listening to. We love shoegaze music and things like that. I've been really intrigued with uh, kind of getting a little louder on guitar parts, so not always dropping into our usual like Americana thing, you know, just doing things that we actually love and listen to. And we went and saw the War on Drugs, the Ryman, um, this past May, and uh, yeah, it was amazing. And we love the War on Drugs, and seeing it live is one of those moments where. We've been doing things that we, you know, we feel influenced by those kinds of bands, and seeing it live was like a really great full 
experience. Just like, yeah, this is awesome. We love, we love guitars, love loud music, love quiet music, love duets and things like that, and kind of finding our own path and all of that. That's very cool uh, yeah. as you find that path. You guys have been working together long enough now. You said 11 years. You probably have some idea where you'd like to go. Do you have a fantasy about where you'd like to play or who you'd like to play with? Yeah, I, I do. Ha I, I do a lot of, even as a kid, I feel like that's something I think about a lot. I used to envision myself, I mean, I still do. I envision myself playing shows a lot. <laughs> lots, lots of the times I, I love to fantasize. And um, I think lately something that I've thought about a lot is, uh, I mean, there's obviously like the fantasy of, I really want to go to Europe really bad. I would love to tour overseas. That's something that's been on our mind a lot and definitely a big fantasy of ours. And um, I've been really into uh, an artist, uh, Young Lean lately, and I always imagine like somehow crossing paths with him. Uh, he makes like hip hop music and stuff, but um, I don't know, I think there's a kindred spirit in, in what I feel and what, what we listen to, when I listen to and I think about him. And uh, it's kind of the fantasy right now. It'd be a weird show, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. And Slow Dive, I'd love to play with Slow Dive. That'd be awesome. Or like Gillian Welch or something. That'd be great as well. Slow Dive and Gillian Welch. That'd be that'd be the bill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. Now I'm I'm familiar with the with I, I have advanced notice on the next song you're playing, and I'm very familiar with it, and really love the song. Oh, thanks so much. Appreciate it. But is there a story behind it? For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. This next one's called Twenty Five. Um, I'm 27 now, but I, I wrote it uh, during COVID uh, two years ago, and. Um, I, I, it was the day, I have a cousin um, that passed away when I was in sixth grade and he was 24 years old. And um, he had an incredibly rare like illness. It was like cancer, I guess. It was, it was really confusing, honestly, like hearing about it. It happened very quickly. He was incredibly healthy. And um, I woke, uh, the day that I wrote this song, um, it was the anniversary of his death. And I also, and which is always, I share a birthday with him. So I've always felt really close with him. Uh, and, um, my uh, someone I knew in the past, her father passed away the same day, and and uh, she texted me about it, and we were talking, and um, it's totally where the whole first verse <laughs> was in, was inspired from, and uh, all the lyrics are very literal within that moment, and uh, the chorus kind of came out of an, a very old idea that I demoed with Danny like the day I met him, and like years ago, and I couldn't really find a chorus that was fitting and feeling right, and uh, I went back and heard that demo, and I played the chorus, and like. It felt so right, and um, it was hard to figure out. I, we, I needed everyone. That, like, I couldn't really put it together myself. We all put it together with a great friend of ours, Eric Romero, um, in the studio, and it just felt right when we got in there and everyone started playing their instruments. But, um, yeah, it was just a, a pretty heavy inspiration from uh, wanting to wake up, and I was feeling pretty bad that day for a lot of reasons, but also wanting to be grateful that I was alive in spite of, you know, negative feelings. Um, hard stuff, especially in, in the midst of COVID. That was, there was a lot of hard feelings and all that, lots of anxiety and depressive feelings. And uh, just waking up and thinking, you know, I'm lucky that I'm here right now and I get to be alive. I get to pick up my guitar, play, sing, express myself. I have my best friends with me all the time. We play all the time. And I'm so lucky I get to experience life like this and live in Harrisonburg, this small little close-knit community. And um, yeah, it's kind of where the song really came from, just like a period stamp on my life in that in that moment with that verse, really, which kind of started everything else. Yeah, this one's called 25. I just want to wake up feel like I'm alive Cause I've got some cousins That didn't see 25 And I've got some friends That remember the day their parents died Somewhere else I've never seen 
Dogwood Tales in studio at WNRN. Wow, that was a great song. Thank you so much. That is appreciate really it, great. Bob. We really appreciate Thanks you guys so being here. And I want to remind everybody that Dogwood Tales is playing tomorrow night at Southern Cafe and Music Hall in Charlottesville. That's a WNRN. And Warhen Records presents show with Maddie May and the Shadowcast and Ramona and the Holy Smokes. Once again, we really appreciate you guys coming in for this in-studio session today. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Great appreciate for it. Yeah. Great. Thanks to the staff at In Your Ear. Everyone's awesome. This has been really great. Really appreciate you all. Yeah. Thanks to all of our VIP members for being here for this in-studio session. Yeah, thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. And a big thanks to Lauren and uh, Christina and the rest of the WNRN staff. Of course, Carlos and the staff at In Your Ear, as, as Kyle said. Kyle, Ben, best of luck in the show tomorrow night. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'm Bob Masago. Thanks for listening today. This is a WNRN in-studio session.